So, may I ask you, what do you think? It can be anything, mm -hmm. right? It could be a building, a street, an area, a person, sure. or whatever. What do you think is the soul of Copenhagen? Um, I think especially Newhound captures the soul of Copenhagen. It has the architecture and it has the border nearby and all the cafes and just captures this cozy kind of vibe that I think Copenhagen is really great at delivering at some point. Yeah. Do you have any Newhaven tips for us? Um, maybe don't go there in the highest season. Like, try to go there around the season time because it will be a lot more fun. There's no, not that many tourists there. Um, you will be able to talk with some Danes that are coming there when there are not that many tourists. Like and talk about everything that goes around about there yeah i guess so because so, it seems very crowded at times yeah, yeah exactly yeah. so you need to wait to get a table maybe um well sometimes actually i think um sometimes we as danes uh avoid going there because of the tourists and that might uh do that there's uh, available seats there because it's all tourists but out of season it's not that crowded and you will be able to just go there at any time yeah so you say the soul of copenhagen mm -hmm. is Nyhavn, even though it's mostly tourists yeah but i guess it still captures that feeling that copenhagen gives um because it have these different colors and it, they have the boats and the water and uh talks in the crowds and like this kind of vibe that is everywhere really here but it's very like compressed right there, so you get the initial feeling of what Copenhagen is. Yeah. So just one last question. Mm -hmm. So, if there's too many tourists in Newhaven, where do you go? Um, I think I go to uh, the street food place that's uh, just across the bridge from Newhaven uh, at the Christianshavn, which is called Bruns Gallekøkken. Um, and that's just this really like authentic vibe in some way and. It's just really a lot of benches and then street food uh, things where you can get beer and different kind of food and it just yeah that's really a vibe um, and yeah you just meet a lot of people there and you sit together with people you don't know and yeah that's that's great. I've seen that and it mm -hmm. looks amazing mm -hmm. uh, and it tips there because it seems mm. crowded and maybe you have to wait in line. Uh, I think I've never waited there actually, um, but I think we are Stains are good at uh, including each other. So if you're like a group of two, then if you come a group of four, you can sit together all of six and then just have a nice time there. Or if you don't want to talk, you can say, we'll just sit here and you'll sit there and that's fine. So yeah, it gives a lot of possibility to like get to know a lot of people. So to, uh, this is interesting. Mm -hmm. So if I understand it correctly, people will ask come you do your table and, sa and say may we sit here and you say yes mm -hmm. and then you also start talking to them maybe yeah. mm -hmm. indeed yeah that's a normal thing mm -hmm. to, to have a conversation with strangers yeah it is i think like danes are uh portrayed as these like reservated people mostly um but when you sit in such crowds it's like that guard is like put down um and you just like accept that here you'll talk and you'll like initiate talking and all that, that kind of stuff yeah does it help with alcohol too yeah of course it does <laughs> yeah